Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everybody. This is Tayyum Manir. Hope you will be fine. Today in this video, I will teach you some basic sentences of Arabic. So, I will teach, I have decided that I will use the three languages. For example, these languages are Arabic, English and Urdu. So, some persons uh, know uh, Urdu very well, some persons know English very well and some persons know Arabic. So, this video will be helpful for the three types of the persons who are speaking Arabic, who are speaking uh, English and who are speaking Urdu language. So, remain with me. How can we say in Arabic, hello, the word hello, how can we pronounce it in Arabic? The translation of hello in Arabic is marhaba, not marhaba, marhaba, pronounce with me, marhaba, pronounce with me, marhaba, try again, marhaha, marhaba, and the next word is welcome, just like we say in Urdu, khushamdeed, khushamdeed in Urdu, and in Arabic, Ahlam wa sahlan and in English welcome. In English welcome and in Arabic Ahlam wa sahlan. That is not Ahlam wa sahlan. Not Ahl. Ahlam wa sahlan. Ahlam wa sahlan. Okay. Ahlam wa sahlan. Welcome are Khushamdeen. So the next word is Ma ismuka. Ma ismuka. When are we talking to a man? male why we say ma means uh, what is ismuka ism means name naam in urdu we say naam ma means kya what is ism naam name ka yours ka your ka yours ka yours aapka yours ma ismuka what is your name aapka naam kya hai in urdu we say aapka naam kya hai in english we say what is your name in arabic we say ma ismuka and we are when we are talking to a female we use the word ma ismuki ma ismuki ki means we are talking to a female girl woman we say ma ismuki so it is a change with the gender Ma ismuka for boy, ma ismuki for girl. Ma ismuka for male and ma ismuki for female. The next sentence is ana indi fikra. Ana means I am. Indi means have. Fikra means idea. Ana indi fikra means I have idea. Ana indi fikra. Repeat it. Ana indi fikra. Ana indi fikra. Ana indi fikra. Ana means I am. Indi means have, fikra means idea, and in Urdu, ana means me, indi have, rakta hu, fikra, fikra means idea, khayal, aapka is baare mein kya khayal hai, aapka khayal kya hai, ana indi fikra, ana indi fikra, whenever you use ma, it gives uh, different meanings, ma means uh, Jo, ma means no, ma means kya. So ma can be used in different forms. Ma, what is, ma, which, and ma, no. So we can pronounce ma in different ways with the respect to that sentence. So here, ma ana indi fikra means ma means no. We will change the assertive sentence into negative sentence. Ma means uh, negation, something. Ma, no, ana, me. I am Indi have Rakta hu Fikra idea Khayal Ana ma Indi fikra means I have no idea Thik hai Mera koi khayal nahi hai Ma ana Indi fikra Mujhe koi pata nahi hai I have no idea Ma ana Indi fikra So repeat it Ma ana Indi fikra Ma ana Indi fikra so I have no idea. The next sentence is fi mushkila. Fi means in. So in English we use the word at, in, into. But in Arabic fi means at, into, and in. So this is the single word that is 
uh, replaced by at, in and into. Fi means may, in Urdu we say may. Mushkila, mushkil. Mushkila, just like we say Urdu, mushkil. Mushkila, problem. I have problem. Ana fi mushkila. Ana fi mushkila. Ma fi mushkila. The most word is used ma fi mushkila. Ma fi means no. We are using here ma at the beginning of the sentence. Ma fi mushkila. It means uh, ma means no. Fi means in. Mushkila means problem. I have a problem. I have problem means ma fi mushkila. We can use the sentence la tu jidu mushkila. Ma fi mushkila. La tu jidu mushkila. La means uh, no. Tu jidu mushkila. I have no problem. La tu jidu mushkila. Hope this lecture is helpful for you. If you want to have any questions or queries, please write below in the comments. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.